Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous topic we have discussed about the Bohr's postulate theory for the structure of atom and in that case we have got to know about the various information. But here basically let us talk about what is the concept of quantization of energy. So friends, as we have discussed about the postulate of the Bohr's atomic theory and in that case we have got to know that is electron revolves around the nucleus but in a very discrete manner. That is we can find that is while getting the atomic spectra we will get to know that is electron never revolves around the nucleus in the same shell. Obviously there are number of shells and the number of shells have different energy level. Suppose if you are talking about the first shell that is K shell which is nearer to the nucleus then the energy level of it, it will be less and if we go to the second the energy level will be more. So here basically the far the shell it will be from the nucleus more the energy it will be and that is how basically the electron revolves around the nucleus following the same that is stationary level shell that is the first one or either it will be second third fourth depending upon the energy of the electron and depending upon the energy of a particular orbit so suppose here i am going to talk about an example we could understand that is how basically the energy is quantized whenever we are talking about the structure of an atom and the electrons in it. So here let me explain you. Suppose if we are considering the energy level that is E1 and the higher energy level that is E2 and suppose the electron is present in the lower energy level that is E1. So in that case suppose if we have to excite this electron from E1 to E2. So obviously we have to provide the energy that is nothing but the gap between these two that is the difference between the higher energy level and the lower energy level. So suppose if we provide this delta E that much amount of energy to this electron so now this electron can be shifted to the higher energy level. But suppose if the electron if we have excited and suppose if we have to bring the electron down suppose if the electron jumps down here so here basically what is the energy that will be absorbed it will not be absorbed it will be emitted so in that case the delta e dash it will be nothing but the gap between these two and it will be that is e1 minus e2 so here basically we have got to know that is the magnitude of this energy level or this difference between this two energy level it is the same and that is the reason that we could say that is delta E is equals to minus delta E1. So here basically we have got to know that is suppose if we have to excite the electron we have to give or we have to provide the amount of energy as delta E and suppose if the electron is present in the higher orbit or is present in the higher shell and suppose if it comes down or if it jumps down it will emit the same magnitude of energy and that is the reason that all the electrons that are being present in the different or various shells in a particular atom has different energy and this is nothing but the concept of quantization of the energy that was been given by the board. So thank you friends for watching this video I hope you have understood what is the role of the energy level in a particular atom. And I hope I'll see you next time. Till then, don't forget to subscribe. Eat your channel. Thank you so much.